there's no way that you can get in a room and write together if you don't get rid of the underlying because it will rear its ugly head. The part that bothers me is I just can't deal with the tension. I'm in the middle of them. I'm tired of it, and I want to fix it. I think that there has been tension in this group between her and I from day one. I don't know why. I try to understand it. I try to relate to you. I even try talking to you. I don't know what else to do. I have exactly. been wall up with you since 1992. Uh, why? Because what have I done to you? What, what, let's, you let's, want? Let's, let's... Yes, I want to know. What did I do to you? Don't let's... talk to me like that. We're supposed to be here talking. What did I do We're supposed to be talking, not yelling. Hold on one second. We're gonna have some ground rules here, okay? We're gonna respect one another and try to take the emotion out of it. You said that you've had a war. Yeah. Speak more about that. It happened after we got signed. I was called into a meeting and I was told that you were reporting back to our old manager everything that I was doing on the road. I could not understand because I felt betrayed by my sister. I didn't want to have anything else to do with you because I could not understand why you would do that to me. He didn't tell you specific things, or he did? No, he didn't say specific okay. things that were happening. No okay. one said specifically. So, I just couldn't so, understand okay, what just... it was that I was doing. I just know it wasn't good thing. But you basically say nothing to me because something that happened in 92. We just don't have a relationship. You can talk to me. What do you want me to talk to you about talk now? It's not about what is the problem? What's the animosity? I have so that? much going on in my life that I'm not even thinking about what's and going again, on with SWD like what right now. When I come here, before, my mind is going one person, one person, I don't one know person, that. one person. All I know is your reaction to me. When I come to work, it's taking my mind of what's at home. All of this stuff is going to backfire if we do not lay the truth out on the table. Let the tears flow and say what's in your heart. What I do know is that she was a nasty bitch. A nasty, nasty bitch. Just look at her and say it. I wanted you to hold me down. I would have. I would have been there for you. I was there for you even though you treated me like I can't even blame you for half of the stuff that went on because a lot of the stuff that happened came from management just in my ear. I wanted her to have my back like she had her back. And I never felt it. So it just seems like it could have all been avoided just by one conversation. When the group broke up, I wanted nothing to do with SWV. I changed my life, I changed my name, and I disappeared because it was so painful. This has been a very good start. There's still more. This was yeah. just a, a yeah, yeah. you know. At least we opened the door. Yes, you did. And that's what's most important. This therapy session really was a good thing for us. Jeff, he, yeah, he did a good man. job, I, I think. And we've never had somebody kind of put something like that together for us. So. Uh, kudos to Jeff, you know, for, for making us talk and, and putting us in a position that we've never been in before. We have a long way to go to yeah. get more connected, but we're, we're on the road. Yeah. Let's work.